Hi, welcome to my topic, Circuits and Networks. I am Ravikant Mala Joshla, and today we are going to discuss with another theorem known as Compensation Theorem. So before going into the Compensation Theorem, let me remind you to share my videos if you like it and please subscribe and press the bell icon for the future notifications. So let us start with the theorem. Compensation Theorem, it is derived from the basics of Ohm's law. What does Ohm's law state? It states that V is equal to IR at constant temperature. So whenever a current flows through a resistance, a voltage is developed across it. Therefore, voltage developed in it act as a source opposing the input. So how do you understand by this statement? So in order to understand this, the composition theorem is defined as in any linear bilateral active network if any branch carrying a current i has its resistance r changed by an amount delta r the resulting changes that occur in the other branches are the same as the same as those which would have been produced by an opposing voltage source of value Vc, which is known as compensation voltage, which is equal to I delta R introduced into the modified branch. So, how do we understand this particular theorem? So, let me take examples. Here you can see a uh, terminus equivalent voltage with resistance is taken and a load resistance R is taken. Now, this R is changed to delta R. Now let us see what will be the compensation voltage which is going to give you the result for the current. For this circuit, if at all I calculate the value of current, I am going to get I is equal to Vth by Rth plus R. This is understood easily. And here if at all you want to calculate the current, the new current that is by the introduction of delta R, the new current value will be I prime is equal to Vth by rth plus r plus delta r now you see we have i and i prime and if at all i want to know the change in value of current so delta i is equal to the prime current minus the original current so i am substituting the values of rhs of these two equations so i prime is equal to vth by rth plus r plus delta r minus vth by rth plus r you take the lcm you take the numerator as the common value i'm going to get this equation represented by this value now by the careful inspe inspection you can see vth divided by rth plus r this is nothing but this value is nothing but this value is number i so I can replace in this equation the value of V divided by RTH plus R as minus I delta R whole divided by RTH plus R plus delta R. Now this value of the numerator I multiplied with the delta R is the value of compensating voltage. So that is the compensating voltage what we need to provide in the modified circuit in order to obtain the change value of current. So the change value of current has the same directions as the direction of original current. Now, In order to understand this theorem in a better way, let us take an example where we need to verify the composition theorem when this 4 ohms is changed to 12 ohms. So the 4 ohms will be changed to 12 ohms and we need to find out the compensating voltage. So this is the circuit which is given to us this 4 ohms we need to alter so what we are going to do this 4 can be changed to 12 at the later stage before that we have 4 volts 6 and 8 including 4 now this circuit has to be modified into thevenin's equivalent circuit so this can be done by selecting this 4 ohms and keeping it aside so I have kept this 4 ohms aside and at these two points I need to find out the value of V thevenin's 
and R terminals. Then I can replace this voltage in series with these two resistors as a single source voltage in series with the terminals resistance and the load resistance. Okay. So individually, I'm going to follow all this. To find out the V terminals, I have to obtain the open circuit voltage across 8 ohms. So open circuit voltage, which is parallel to 8 ohms, can be obtained with the help of voltage division rule. That is, V 8 ohms is equal to VOC is equal to VTH is equal to the total voltage 4 multiplied with the same branch resistance 8 whole divided by the sum of these two resistance which will give you the value of V across 8 ohms equal to 2.286 volts. Isn't that simple? In order to obtain terminal's voltage or open circuit voltage, please follow my terminal's equivalent circuit PPTs as well as video lectures which will be derived in the previous classes. Please follow that and you can easily find out the open circuit voltage and terminal's equivalent resistance. Now let us go with the R equivalent. To find out the R equivalent, we have to short the voltage source. Then we are going to obtain the R equivalent, which is the parallel combination of 6 to 8, which is 6 into 8 by 6 plus 8. This obtained value is 3.42 ohms. Now once we obtain the terminal's voltage, terminal's resistance, we can replace the value of R equivalent with terminal's voltage and the load resistance as 2.286 volts, the value of voltage. Then you have resistance and you have load resistance. Now here we need to calculate the value of current. Now this current will be equal to 2.286 divided by 3.42 plus 4, which is equal to 0. 30808 amperes. Now, this we are treating as equation 1. Now, 4 ohms is changed to 12 ohms. So, 4 is changed to 12. I can calculate the new current that is the I prime. I prime is equal to 2.286 divided by 3.42 plus 12, which is equal to 0. 0.414824 amperes. Now, what is the change value of current? Change value of current is equal to 0 0.14824 minus 0 0.30808. Now, this will give you the value as minus 0 0.15984 amperes. Now, treat this equation as 3, and this is the changed value of current what we need to find out with the help of compensation theorem. So, I hope you understood points or equations 1, 2, 3, how we have interpreted the values. Now, what is the change in value of resistance? We have changed 12 ohms, okay? And the previous resistance was 4 ohms. So, 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 ohms is the delta R value. Now, R plus delta R will be given with the value as 4 plus 8. That is nothing but 12 ohms. That is the total change in value of resistance. Now, we know that from equation 1, I is equal to 0 0.30808 amperes. Now, composition voltage is nothing but I multiplied with the delta R. So, I value is this from equation 1 and delta R value is 8. So, with this, I got the value of compensation voltage which is equal to 2.46464 volts. Now, this will be the new value of voltage, compensating voltage with the equivalent resistance 3.42 and R plus delta R that is nothing but to 12 ohms. So, this equivalent model will be changed to this equivalent model and we need to find out delta I. So, we know that the value of delta I from equation 3 or we, what we already got the value as minus 0 0.15 something like that. So, we need to cross check the same value. So, we have the R plus delta R value 12 3.42 is the Thevenin's equivalent resistance and compensation voltage is 2.46464 volts. Now, this delta I can be obtained which is equal to minus. Why minus? Because the, chip, the direction of the current and the voltage which is here, which is opposing the current conditions, it is opposite. Otherwise, you simply apply the 
mesh analysis for this particular loop 3.42 delta i plus 12 delta i plus 2.4646 volts is equal to 0. With that, you will get the delta y value is equal to minus 2.4664 volts divided by the total resistance that is 15.42 ohms, which will give you the value as minus 0 0.15984 amperes. Now, this is the same value of current what we got when we have calculated delta i from first two cases. So, this is how we examine the compensation theorem. If at all you have any doubts in compensation theorem, please uh, make sure that you are posing your doubts with some better examples and I'll be solving all those kind of examples in my future sections. Thanks for watching my video. Have a good day.